Okay, let's work one more. Uh, and here what we want to do is uh, add in a little dose of realism. So let's assume the bond's been issued and the potential purchaser and the potential purchaser can earn 14%. So back to our second problem, rates have gone up from 6 to 14% in a day. Uh, the only thing that we want to look at, the only thing that we want to change here is that uh, the coupon is going to be paid semi-annually instead of annually. And this is the most common way that bond coupons are paid, semi-annually. Um, so uh, we just want to make this a little more realistic. Uh, so semi-annually means twice a year instead of once a year. What's a potential purchaser willing to pay? Right. So again, we're being asked what the price of our old bond, right, our current bond is. Given that rates have changed and that the uh, coupon frequency, the compounding period has changed. Right? So we still have a face value of a thousand, only if, uh, and I still would have a $60 per year coupon, except for I'm being paid this coupon now twice a year. So I need to divide that by two and I get $30 coupon every half year. My in is my remaining maturity, and there are five years remaining to maturity, but I am being paid semi-annually, so the compounding period means I have 10 half years uh, remaining to maturity. My IY is always my yield to maturity, and that is the current market rate, and the current market rate has gone up to 14% per year. Again, though, I need to convert everything down to the appropriate compounding frequency. So I divide that by two to get 7% over a half year. And now I can compute my present value and get $719.06. So again, of course, we knew we were gonna get uh, a discount here. We were going to have to sell this bond at a discount. My bond is worth less because it's only paying 6% coupon when any other bond is paying the yield to maturity, 14%. And it's worth even less than it was in the second example because this is now paying twice per year instead of once per year. So there's a little bit of extra compounding that I'm losing out on. That's not a huge amount. This is only like $6 difference, but it is, uh, it is still less value because of the uh, semi-annual compounding period. Now there's not a ton uh, of examples in this uh, in this lecture because this is a uh, very similar essentially something that we've already done before in chapter six which is bonds are just annuities with a future value payment. Um, so uh, we got two more examples here. Uh, I would encourage you guys to just stop the video right here, try and work these two problems, uh, then come back and see if you did it right. And if you did it right, then you are pretty much ready for the bond chapter. These, uh, uh, there, you know, um, there isn't, there is no more complexity to these problems. The difference between what we're doing here and what we did in chapter six is that we've put a a different wrapper on it, right? We have new names for all the inputs. Uh, we have taken an annuity and put it into the concept of an annuity and put it into a real world example. So that's all it is, Aaron. The, the hardest part about the bond chapter is getting familiar with the terminology enough so that you don't get confused. Okay, so again, I encourage you, stop the video, go back and work these problems, then come back and, and see if you did it right. Okay, so uh, this first problem then says, Kingdom Hearts Inc. currently has some outstanding public debt, public debt meaning bonds. This debt carries a 6% coupon that's paid on a semi-annual basis. The debt will mature in 10 years at par and is currently selling in the market for $918. What is the yield to maturity? Okay. So uh, we are given everything we need to know in the problem. We know that uh, prices and interest rates move in opposite directions. So if the current price is less than the face value, that means that the current interest rate in the market, the yield to maturity, has got to be greater than the coupon we're being paid uh, because that's why there is a discount on this bond. And we can figure out what that rate is by plugging everything in and solving for the yield to maturity. So the price is the present value and the present value of the bond is 918. Okay. 
the payment is our coupon payment, of course. And our coupon payment is the coupon rate times the face value. And so that is going to be a thousand times a uh, 6%, which is $60 per year, but we're paying semi-annually, so that is $30 every half year. In is our remaining maturity, and there are 10 years remaining. The debt will mature in 10 years, but we have 20 half years within those 10 years. Uh, to go until this future value is always the face value and the face value is always a thousand And we compute our IY to get our yield to maturity and We get 3.5812 But what we have to remember and again, there's uh, this is the easiest point of uh, confusion in these kinds of problems is that the period of our output will agree with the periods of our input, which means this is a semi-annual rate. So this is 3.58.12% per half year. But we always have to report our rates as an annual rate. So we multiply by two to get 7.1624% per year okay. and we see that indeed our fundamental rule has held true prices and rates move in opposite directions so if our yield to maturity is greater than our coupon then the price must be less than the face value we must have a discount here okay now the second example says house parachutes currently has some outstanding debt this debt carries a 7.5% coupon that is paid annually, but the yield to maturity is 8.68% 8 and the bond matures in seven years. Now the bond is issued at par, which means it's sold for its face value. What is the current price a potential investor would pay for this bond? Now, again, we know from our fundamental rule, right? So we have a guiding principle here that if the yield to maturity is greater then the coupon rate, that means pr rates have increased and that means prices must have decreased. So the current price a potential investor would pay for my 7.5% bond would be less than 1,000. This is gonna be a discount bond, we know that. We can plug it in and see exactly what kind of discount we have. Face value, future value is always 1,000. IY is our yield to maturity, the required return or the market rate and that is going to be 8.68% per year. And we have annual bond, we have a paid annually, so we've got annual compounding, so we can leave it there. In is our remaining maturity, and this bond uh, matures in seven years. Our payment is always our coupon payment, and that is the coupon rate times the face value for a coupon payment of $75 per year. And we compute our present value and we get negative 939.9681. So we have a discount bond by about $60. Okay.